Hi and welcome back to my channel and if this is the first time that you've visited, nice to meet you, hello. Um, first before I start I'd like to say a big up to my friend Glyn Bennett who's keeping me on the straight and narrow as in watching my videos, giving me feedback, telling me how to improve, um, also watching out for me being spam from different people. So thanks a lot Glyn, means a lot. Today I'm going to try something completely new. Today I'm going to try and write a poem whilst making a video. Um, a lot of people ask me where I get my inspiration from. I get my inspiration from everything that's around me, things that go on in the news, things that my children tell me, just, just general things. Um, I get a lot of commission work. People send me um, things that they'd like me to write poems for them. And as um, the, more chat, the more time that I spend on the channel, the more commission work I should read. But let's move on. And today I'm going to try and write um, something... Well, video in live. What's giving me the inspiration today is um, the weather. The weather's really terrible here in the UK. We've got a hurricane called Hurricane Dennis. So um, that would make a big place, easy place to start. Let's write a poem about a hurricane. So first and foremost, when I go to write something, I sit down. Uh, I always think the title out first. So let's start. Hurricane. Right. So now, straight away, I'm looking at the word hurricane, cane, what rhymes with canes, going straight through my mind. So let me just quickly jot something down. I'll read it to you as I write it. I might change it, scribble it out, go back to it. Hurricane. Look out of the window. Nothing. But wind and rain. So there you go. First verse. Hurricane. Look out of the window, which is what I'm doing. Nothing but wind and rain. Because straight away I was thinking, hurricane. What's rhyming with cane? And, you know, there are different things going through my mind. Um, cane, pain. Definitely rain because of the weather. First verse. So first one. Hurricane. Look out the window, nothing but wind and rain. Right, so what else is happening? Looking out the window, I look out the back window. Trees, there's lots of trees um, behind my back garden. So, wind, no, no, so we can't start there. So straight away I'm thinking, can't use wind. Hurricane, look out the window. Sorry, I didn't write that bit down. Hurricane, look out the window, nothing but wind and rain. So then I was going to start again with wind. Can't use wind because we've just used that in the very last verse. Okay, so we rub wind out. So I'm thinking trees now. How can I bring trees into this um, poem? So, trees... Blowing branches falling down stuck in doors. makes me frown <laughs> so can you see where where my mind is going again you know so i'm looking out the window i'm getting my inspiration straight away i'm going with trees blowing branches falling down so before i've even wrote the last verse i'm thinking down that's what i've got to rhyme with down stupid things go through your mind down gown how made up words even that don't even exist and then all of a sudden bingo frown i'm stuck indoors it's a hurricane it's raining you know i don't want to be in there i'd like to be outside i, I love being outside in the fresh air but i'm stuck in there and i'm looking out the window and i'm frowning so there you go verse number two so let's go back now what i will do is i'll go back to the start 
even reading the title and work my way through it. Hurricane. Hurricane, look out of the window, nothing but wind and rain. Trees blowing, branches falling down. Stuck indoors makes me frown. Good, good enough. I might not like it later on, but for the purpose of this video, it's good enough. You know, we can always adjust it later on. So now, can't really leave it there. It's two verses. It's too short for me. I, 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 I don't know what to... Sometimes I can leave poems that short, but I don't like to anymore. So, okay, what can we look at now? My children are with me, so I'll write something about them. Children stuck in with nothing to do. Do, so do. Now we're looking for a word that rhymes with do. To stop them being bored, it's down to you. <laughs> so that's using a real life scenario as well. You know, when the children, mine are teenagers now, so it's not quite so bad, they've got their tech. But when the young kids are indoors and they're coming up to the parents and they're saying, I'm bored, I'm bored, I'm bored. It's down to the um, mother and father, mum and dad, to try and find something. I've done it myself. Try and find anything to keep the children entertained. I think that's one of the worst things about um, hurricanes, storms, wet weather, especially in school holidays. What do you do with the children? If you go out, it costs an absolute fortune. So it's finding things to do inside. So that's a real life scenario that's happened to me and that's what I've used to, to get this third verse. So then, like I say, back again. Always come back, go back to the start and work your way through it and see if you've got the flow. Hurricane, hurricane, look out of the window, nothing but wind and rain. Trees blowing, branches falling down, stuck indoors makes me frown. Children stuck in with nothing to do. To stop them being bored, it's down to you. So can you see the mistake that I've made straight away? Yeah? Now, I'll show you. I'll read it to you again. Trees blowing, branches falling down, stuck indoors makes me frown. Children stuck. So I've used the same word twice. And that's a no-no for me. I can't go with that. So... What will I do? So I'll go into the third verse and I'll ru rub out stuck. And then I'll see what I've got. Children in with nothing to do. To stop them being bored, it's down to you. That works. Just by rubbing that word out, it works. Yeah? So now what I'll do is go back to the start and read it again. Hurricane. Hurricane. Look out of the window. Nothing but wind and rain. Trees blowing, branches falling down, stuck indoors makes me frown. Children in with nothing to do, to stop them being bored it's down to you. Perfect, works really well. Just by rubbing a word out, it can work, it can make the poem work. Don't use the same words twice if you can help it. And certainly that was a big mistake on my behalf, but I'm glad I made it to show you don't use the same word in the next verse. Right, so moving on. I've got to read it again so I can think of the full verse. Hurricane, look out of the window, nothing. Hurricane, look out of the window, nothing but wind and rain. Trees blowing, branches falling down, stuck indoors makes me frown. Children in with nothing to do, to stop them being bored, it's down to you. So now, straight away, I'm thinking, okay, I've moved indoors, I've got the children, they're bored, there's nothing to do. So fourth, fourth, uh, fourth, fourth, sorry, fourth verse, to me, has to be something about entertaining the children. What can we do? 
So, think of a game by just messing around play hide and seek until something what do you think I'm going to write next think of a game by just messing around around play hide and seek until something around found is found that's how my mindset is working all the time before I'm even writing writing the next verses I'm thinking of what I need to make it rhyme think of a game no that's not what we need to make it rhyme by just messing around around is the word full stop sometimes put a full stop on it put an exclamation mark on it so that you know that that's the word you need to rhyme with think of a game by just messing around so my mind then is going um, straight away found but how do I incorporate that into the poem so you've got to think of where you're going with it children in with nothing to do so you're trying to a parent's trying to find a game and what's one of the games that I've picked to play with the children hide and seek you know um, 10 seconds you go and hide something and then they have to find it within the house they know the house inside out so you've got to try and find somewhere that they can. I'm thinking of real life scenarios all the time. Things that I've experienced. Anyway, let's move on. And now we go, as I've said numerous times, we start and read the whole thing through. Hurricane. Hurricane. Look out of the window. Nothing but wind and rain. Trees blowing, branches falling down. Stuck indoors makes me frown. Children in with nothing to do, to stop them being bored, it's down to you. Think of a game by, ju by just messing around. Play hide and seek until something is found. So there you go, we've now created one, two, three, four. It's a nice little poem, everything's rhyming. Let's go through the words that I've made rhyme. Hurricane, rain, down, frown. Do you around found? So I'm just using basic words because that's how I write. Nice simple little words. Nice things that rhyme easily. And I've just managed to gill it down um, into four verses. Now when we get to the fourth verse, um, it depends how, how long you like to make it. I don't like to make my poems too long. I, I like to be able to write, well I do write. Um, everything I've written is never taking more than half an hour. So I could possibly carry on with this and, and put another two verses in, maybe three. That would probably be my max. Um, if you've looked at my other videos, my poems aren't very long. So now when I get to about four, um, the fourth verse, some of my verses are a lot longer than these, obviously. I'm starting to think of an end. How am I going to end this? You know? What, what is the story behind this? Well, the story behind this is we're stuck indoors, it's raining, nothing to do, you know. And then all of a sudden we found something to do. We found uh, a, a game to play, yeah? So we've covered what we're doing during the day. So now what we need to do is try and think of an end. How am I going to end this? Uh, think of a game by just messing around, play hide and seek until something is found. Um, fifth verse. Children are children are children are having lots of fun. 
is turned the day around and made it a special one. <laughs> Children are having lots of fun. Fun being the key word, the word that you need to rhyme. You've turned the day around and made it a special one. Wow, I, I quite like that. I think that's a nice little ending. I probably would have um, carried on and done a lot more, more verses. I wish I could stop saying that um, by the way. Uh, so now, back to the, the start of the poem. And title included, here we go. And let's see how it flows. Hurricane, hurricane. Look out of the window, nothing but wind and rain. Trees blowing, branches falling down. Stuck indoors makes me frown. Children in with nothing to do. To stop them being bored, it's down to you. Think of a game by just messing around. Play hide and seek until something is found. Children are having lots of fun. You've turned the day around and made it a special one. Okay, so it works, it sounds good. One thing that is sort of not feeling right with me is the word children used in verse 3 and verse 5. Even though there's a verse in between that separates them, I want to just try something. So I'm going to rub out children in verse 5 and put kids. Sorry. Kids. So now let's see how that works. Um, right, oh, don't stop saying that. Right from the start. Hurricane. Look out of the window. Nothing but wind and rain. Trees blowing. Branches falling down. Stuck indoors makes me frown. Children in with nothing to do. To stop them being bored. It's down to you. Think of a game by just messing around. Play hide and seek until something is found. Kids are having lots of fun. You've turned the day around and made it a special one. Like it. Much better for me. Maybe you like the children children, but um, the kids bit works because we're steering clear of using the same word twice. So I'm, I'm really pleased with that. There's five verses. Um, I can't see the time. Oh, 18 minutes. So we've wrote a five first poem in under my usual 20, 30 minutes max. I never write more than 20, 30 minutes. I do find that my um, uh, attention span is gone by then. You know, when I, when I think of something I'm going to write, I'm buzzing and straight away I need to get it down on paper. I've woken up at stupid times in the, in, in the night with ideas and my pencil and pad, jotted them down and finished them off in the morning. To, when I say uh, it takes me 20 to 30 minutes, that's just to get it down. Yeah, I do sometimes go back, move verses around, adjust things about, you know, just to make it flow. I mean, the thing with the way I write my poems is it has to have flow. Um, I look at some of the poems I've writ written in the past and even published and think that it's good, but it just hasn't got the flow. Whereas this, I think, has. So I'm just going to read it one last time. Yeah. And hopefully it's complete. Hurricane. Hurricane. Look out of the window. Nothing but wind and rain. Trees blowing, branches falling, falling down. Stuck indoors makes me frown. Children in with nothing to do. To stop them being bored, it's down to you. Think of a game by just messing around. Play hide and seek until something is found. Kids are having lots of fun. You've turned the day around 
and made it a special one. I like it. I like it. I think it flows. I think it's a nice little poem and that I've written on, a, on Hurricane Dennis Day. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you've enjoyed actually watching me write something. I think it's important um, to actually show people that I can write. It is me that's doing the writing. I don't doubt that people think that at all. But just to show you how you could go about it. Remember, it's down to the key words, picking the words out that rhyme and making them rhyme. Hurricane, rain, um, down, frown, do, you, around, found, you know, fun, one. Not many words there to rhyme. The dictionary is huge. I don't use really long dictionary words. I keep it simple. It's how I write, you know. Um, and I really, really think we've done well now, me and you, writing this little poem. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like it. Comment. Comment. Please leave me comments. I, I love reading the comments. It gives me the inspiration to, to do things. I like writing commissions. I like writing for different people. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe. And there's a little bell icon. Click on that and that will notify you when I do my next video. Thank you for taking this, oh, 21 minutes, which is long for me, taking this time to, to watch, listen, and I hope I've helped all the budding poets out there with their work. Thank you once again.